Need to add an image to your course syllabus, but you're not sure how to do it? Here's a quick video that will help you. First of all, you can click on your faculty information link or course information and then open up your syllabus. Either of those will get you to the same place. So I've clicked on my course information and that takes me to the course information section of my course where the whole syllabus lives. Um, you can also click on faculty information, like I said, that's going to open up that section of the course syllabus. So if you click on faculty information, you'll, you'll see this information as well. Um, you're going to mouse over the section that says faculty information, and when you do that, you should notice a little menu button that appears next to the word faculty information. If you don't see this menu button appear, then you want to make sure that the edit button is on up here in this upper right hand corner. So if you don't see it, you might, you might double check and make sure that you don't have off here um, because you won't see any, any tools or buttons across the top. So just click on it to make sure that's on. So now I'm going to click back on my, my image, just mouse back over my image and then click on my menu button that appears. And I'm going to select edit from the contextual menu that appears here. That will open up an editing window so that I can edit my context, that my content that's in this faculty information section. So to change the image, I can just click on that, and I can hit delete on my keyboard, that's going to just remove it. Or I can click on it and then select the edit or insert image button from my toolbar. Now if you don't see all of these tools that I have displayed on mine, you might need to click the button in the upper right hand corner of your editing window. This, um, this button with the double, double chevrons will either show more or show less of your, of your menu. So I'm showing less right now, so it only shows me one row of formatting buttons and then when I click it it expands it out to show all three buttons. So with the image selected, notice it has the dots around it indicating that it's selected. I can click this button and it opens up the insert edit image window. Um, right now it's telling me that this is the image that's selected. I've got an image description. It shows a, a picture of the image and then there's some other things on these um, the advanced and the appearance tabs that we'll talk about in just a second. If you want to change this image you'll just click browse my computer to find an image that's located on your personal computer or a flash drive or if you've got it someplace else um, at, on your, your system. So you can select the image that you want to use and then click open. And so now you'll see that the image is changed here. If, you're, if you can still see the window in the background, it hasn't changed because we haven't actually updated this yet. Now right now this image is a little bit too big for what um, we want our students to be able to see. So uh, you can change it in the editing window when you get back to, to the editing window, but you have to make sure that you do it proportionately or your image could be skewed. The easiest way to do it is when this window is still open, you can click on the Appearance tab here at the top and then just take, change the dimensions. Now the default is to have constraint, the constrained proportions um, option selected. And that means that if you change one of the dimensions, it's going to change both of them so your, your image won't be skewed. So I've changed this to 250. I think that's a pretty good size for your syllabus. Um, 200, 250, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make your picture more than about 300 unless you really need to um, emphasize something a little bit bigger. Um, notice when I tab out of this, this number here will change. So notice this change. So that means that my image is going to shrink um, proportionately. So I'm going to click back on my general tab. It doesn't look like it's changed here, but it really has. And I would make sure to put an image description and then a title. This will help any students that you have that might be using a screen reader so that if the screen reader, um, if they have a vision impairment or a visual disorder of some kind and they need assistance with screen reading um, tools, then the screen reader would, would read what you have inserted in, in this area so the student will know what the picture is of. Then you're going, to, you're going to click update once you're ready to submit it. So now I've changed my image. Um, it's still not going to change until I actually submit it. Um, but once I submit it, then it will actually change in Blackboard. And so then we would see this image of this individual there. I'm not going to change mine. I'm just going to click cancel. But if you want to change yours at this point, you can click submit. You'll find the submit button at the top or at the bottom of your Blackboard screen. You can click either of them and it will do the same thing. It's just depending on what's easier for you or where you are on your screen. So I hope this helps. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any other questions. You can reach us at 335-6649 or jlyon, L-Y-O-N, at odessa.edu. Thanks.